the first thing I would say, uh, you know, Harbourvest, we do spend a lot of time looking at first time managers and investing uh, in first time managers. You know, we think it's a great opportunity for us to you know, build a relationship with a manager at an early stage in their development. Uh, and hopefully that relationship can then grow and be successful over time. But it's a great opportunity for us to get in early with managers that we think are going to be successful uh, and going to be important in the market going forwards. And the fortunate thing is <clears throat> because Harvest has a, a long tenure uh, in the markets, we know a lot of these institutions, we know the groups and the individuals within those institutions who are spinning out, who are setting up first-time funds. So we're familiar with those organizations and we're able to diligence them. We know a lot about what they've done, what they haven't done in terms of their track records. That's the, the first thing to say. I think it gives us a good position when evaluating uh, first-time funds. In terms of you know, what it takes to be successful, uh, in terms of raising a first-time fund, I think you know, there's a number of, of crucial points to look at. Uh, you know, track record is obviously uh, an important point to start off, whether it's individuals bringing track records from their prior firms or a group that have perhaps worked in a captive setting and built a track record that way. But it needs to be uh, a track record that's relevant to the strategy the manager's seeking to pursue. You want it to be something that's relatively recent. Uh, so again, the relevant point, there needs to be some recent performance there. And then <clears throat> I would say also, you know, it's got to be a strong track record, obviously, in order to attract LP capital. You know, that's the first point. Um, another thing I think is very important, you know, Harbourvest were very uh, strategy led. You know, I'm part of the team uh, based in London that covers the European market. We're looking for managers who have a strategy that's particularly relevant to the predominant macroeconomic environment in Europe. Clearly, it's a relatively flat GDP environment. So, what are the strategies that are particularly relevant in those markets? So, the manager has to be able to show a strategy that we think is really going to be effective in those, those kind of market conditions. So, that's important. You know, a further thing is obviously team. Now, with a, a first time manager, you don't necessarily expect to see a fully baked team present on day one. Uh, you know, we, we accept it's obviously going to be perhaps a bit of a work in process. But that said, um, it's got to be more than just one person. I think you, when you see a team that's really just one guy uh, with uh, a track record, uh, and a, and a you know, prior success, that's not really enough. You want to see a bit broader basis to the senior team uh, for that group. So more than one individual with a successful track record of deal doing. So that, you know, those are all uh, important points to consider. I think there's probably a couple of other points so I'd, I would add in as well, that perhaps a bit less obvious, um, but also, also very important. Um, you know, one of those that we spend a lot of time on at Harbourvest when we're talking to first time managers is really the point around fund management. You know, very often we see people who uh, come out of uh, very successful uh, funds and investment organizations. They're very experienced in terms of deal doing and investing. Uh, they, you know, they've got all of that success behind them, but perhaps the thing that they're less familiar with from their previous roles is the importance of fund management. You know, how do you manage a fund how do you manage LP's capital efficiently uh, so that you're maximizing uh, net returns to your investors? You know, very often that is an aspect of uh, the job that they've not had a great deal of exposure to in the past. So we find we actually spend quite a lot of time with newer managers, educating them about uh, the fund management point, how to maximize uh, net returns to investors. That's, so that's really important, um, one thing that I would say. And then I think, you know, the other point that's very important to consider, particularly in the current environment where you see uh, <clears throat> there's a very high degree of LP liquidity, uh, a lot of capital uh, looking to invest, uh, some of that's going to first time funds. How to design your fund uh, in a way that's going to be attractive to high quality investors in terms of the economic terms, the legal terms that you put in place for that fundraising. Um, there is a temptation, I think, with the amount of LP capital that's in the market at the moment 
to perhaps try for more advantageous terms for the GP, uh, off-market terms, because you know there's a chance in the current environment you might get those terms. Uh, we always try to encourage the manager to think about the long term. So don't just think about the market conditions that prevail today, because the chances are when you come to raise your next fund, let's say in four or five years time, you may be presented with some very different market conditions. It might be a much tougher environment in which to raise your next fund. And you know, if in that first fund you've managed to secure for yourself some off-market terms, some quite GP-friendly terms, you, know, you may find that your second fundraising is made much more difficult as a result of that. You know, LPs may be resentful about what they signed up to during a period of uh, a very high LP liquidity, and that's something you may have to deal with down the line. So we're really looking for managers who have that long-term approach, who understand that point, uh, and we'll take that on board. I think when we see managers who come with uh, quite a short-term approach that's about you know, what they can get for themselves right now in today's market uh, and not looking at the long-term, that's more of a negative for us.